Hey, this is Rahul and how's it going everyone? This is my last video before I leave for Ladakh and I'm a bit of hurry because I still haven't packed anything yet. So the editing in this video will be a little bit off. Just bear with me. I'm just going to show you everything that I'm going to bring into Ladakh with me. There's a lot of equipment. I've been really lazy. I didn't want to make this video for such a long time because it takes such a huge amount of time to get it everything organized into this room. Without further ado, just let's get started and I, I'll just take you through all my gear. We'll be doing live videos on Facebook page and we'll be doing all the photographs as we go along. My camera can connect directly to the phone so I can upload high quality pics. So follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram, facebook.com slash ride with Rahul instagram.com slash ride with Rahul you will see all of the coverage only there if you follow me so first thing is my dining Z super rider D dry jacket this is the jacket that I bought specifically for this trip and I read some reviews because uh, US riders were saying that they have taken this jacket up to four degrees of temperature and they've been riding at brisk paces and they'll still could manage in that cold so I've got this and the speciality of this is a waterproof D-dry liner, which is a zippered liner over which there's buttons. So it is completely sealed off from water. At the same time, it will block your wind and it can take it really in the colder temperatures. Plus, this is a breathable liner. When you are going for an Indian jacket, sure, they're waterproof as well, but it is not breathable. So you'll be sweating a ton inside and that's going to give you a lot of discomfort. And that is definitely something I didn't want on such a long trip. So a day dry jacket. If it gets really cold, I'll be wearing a jockey thermal inside this. And uh, a few other things that I wanted to tell you is that when you take this off for Delhi, when we'll be moving to Chandigarh, that part will be a very hot part of the ride. So what we'll be doing is I'll be just taking this off and then we have 3D mesh, boomerang mesh and Miguelo fabric all over. Miguelo is a stretchable fabric which sits just like my race suit. So I wanted the protection of a leather race suit, but in this rain, the leather will not work. So I went for this. It actually feels a lot like wearing a race suit. The fit is very aggressive. The same sort of co-injected shoulder and nice uh, GP level armor that you get in other Dainese high-end leather jackets that you're also getting in this one. So basically this is a textile jacket four seasons but you're getting all the protection of a leather because there are leather in the impact areas and this is the black and orange version. There's a black white red and some other colorways. I went for this because also the back side has this high vis orange so in the high vis it will be very visible. So it's a four season jacket, take off, the, take off the liner, ride it in extreme hot summers. You can see the entire back is also mesh and it does have a race hump, I prefer that. And that's it, the jacket is my obviously the favorite part and that's why I've been talking about so much. Got it specifically for this ride. Behind this, there's the Dainese BAP back protector which was given to me by Dainese AGV India. This time, because I didn't have the time, I couldn't get the stuff out of Italy so I was getting everything out of India Dainese India so that was uh, something I won two years ago from Dainese India they gifted it for free and this is something I bought they gave me a nice discount so this is something I bought just for this purchase and this ride moving on to my helmet which is the AGV GT Veloci you have already seen this in most of my videos this is the best touring helmet helmet that AGV makes it's for the three quarter to the aggressive position not exactly for upright sitting position gets a lot of elements from from Dainese's uh, or AGV's Pista GP, the race helmet that Rossi wears currently in MotoGP, takes a lot of design features from that but doesn't have the spoiler. Apart from that, that's a full carbon fiber ra race helmet that Rossi wears. This is like a composite fiber, it has ca carbon fiber a little bit. It's got a very nice uh, visor which is like this, it has a nice dead bolt locks in pretty securely on front of it there is a very nice gopro mount which i wanted to show you this is the sopro gopro mount and this is something that i have been sponsored by a brand called sopro mounts in the usa they send me this particularly for this trip inside this uh, helmet there is a road smart left plus microphone which is my helmet mic and this requires a special adapter that is below this and also there is this gopro mic adapter a lot of setup this is basically the gopro helmet setup and this special mount is very required because agv doesn't take normal um, sticky mounts because there is no flat surface moving on uh, to this is uh, the three gears 
pants i don't have riding pants so i'll be wearing this jeans it has accordion stretch panels for a normal riding jeans uh, this is not armored by any way leg protectors which i forgot to put in this but you've seen my leg protector so many times i wish i had it here it's in the next room but uh, fine it's my alpine stars leg protectors that is there and this is my zune smooth q gimbal if you have already seen the review if you've not seen it see it in the annotation this is for a smartphone video stabilization device something very nice um moving into the cameras and the mounts now because the gears discussion is almost done i will be talking about rain gear later this is basically the protective gear and of course my dynasty race boot this is the dynasty race boot uh, it's kind of dirty because i was riding it in the rain and stuff so obviously this is usual but this these have been serving me pretty well these are not leather this is made of an artificial material that makes them pretty much waterproof this is not perforated so water doesn't seep in has served me through all of the rides so far and it's been a very nice boot i really love this it's heavy and it's very protective i'm going to be wearing this apart from that uh this is the protection gear is over now moving on i've already shown you the smooth cue so we'll not go into that this is the nice gimbal very nice gimbal moving into the other gimbal this is the zune rider m this uh, review is already out there if you have not seen it you can see it if you're a gopro enthusiast you'll love it. it it's extremely stable and a very high quality device uh, it also takes any other action camera that i have so let's take a look at all the action cameras this is the gopro hero 4 black my primary action camera followed by the d uh, this is the xiaomi yi2 4k uh, this is the other camera that i'm carrying this is the di t5e a very nice uh, budget action camera less than 8000 rupee or 120 dollars around nice camera uh, for entry level uh, moto vloggers even takes an external mic input haven't made the review yet we'll make it after the trip so uh, the other camera is the gopro hero 3 plus silver this is there obviously and uh, obviously the last camera in the list is, is the biggest one that's the lumix this one i'm shooting out of and it's obviously the best one uh, of the lot i really love this camera and that there is the polarization filter this goes on top of the camera and it makes the videos in high sunlight look a little soft light and that's uh, really nice in moving into the mounts this is the gopro selfie mount if i'm doing handheld vlogging out of the gopro in some situations i'll be using this and then moving into some other mounts this is the gopro suction cup mount this is a gopro jaws flex mount you can use it on any part just just do this and flex it into against any metal band or anywhere this is a very flexible mount you can use it in a lot of places followed by the gopro chesty which is a extremely nice chest harness mount i think all of you know about that moving into about some of the accessories obviously there's going to be a lot of batteries i've lost count how many batteries i have don't ask me this is the spare batteries for the gimbal it comes with two sets of batteries and of course with so many batteries you will require charging so this is my anchor power bank and uh, for this power bank i'm also going to say that this is now we have a geo connection so we'll be doing a lot of videos out of uh, ladakh so please 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 go ahead and follow me there and i promise to take the best photos live videos and i so also do some very special video edited insta stories which you'll be able to see on instagram so live videos on facebook because i want to keep them instagram deletes live videos facebook does it photos and stories will be on instagram moving into the final part of the gear again a tripod this is my second tripod the first tripod is obviously here and there's going to be one pole this is the pole it's like a selfie stick uh, or a monopod whatever you want to call it it's got a nice grip i can use this for uh, obviously action cameras and it's very useful for some gimbal shots because you can tie the gimbal on top of it i mean this gimbal the rider m so now you know everything about the gears the cameras again another uh, dslr light which i have got from gearbest so gearbest has been really nice they've sponsored <coughs> this a lot of brands have come in through zune has sent me all the gimbals free of charge they wanted me to review them but this is my personal request the rider m they've sent it to me just for this shoot so pro mounts from usa sent me this beautiful mount gearbest has sent me a lot of things including the dit 5e the the uh, um, yi2 4k camera all of this dslr light that this is that is a rotational time lapse device back there 
again sent by gear best gear has been the most supportive brand in all of this they have sent me a lot of stuff over the years and i'm taking even the tripod on which the lumix is currently sitting is a very excellent tri tri travel tripod with a lot of features that's also sent by gear best i cannot emphasize more on how supportive they have for the channel and do do shop from them all the links of whatever i'm gonna show in this video is down in the description so if you want to buy just or if you just want to check it out just look into the description moving into the snow gear the snow gear we've got ski gloves over here right these are the ski gloves waterproof and thermally insulated very warm followed by the waterproof pants because i'll be wearing normal jeans i don't have riding pants i'll be having normal waterproof pants over that i had actually bought a moto tech jacket this is a rain over jacket doesn't have any protective element you can wear it over the jacket if it gets uh, snowing or something like that i can just put this over my jacket usually the this uh, dineasy one won't require anything i wasn't sure whether this will come before the ride so just for precautionary measure i bought this but this is pretty nice it has a nice hood so this is something if your water jacket is not waterproof you can just spend 1400 rupees or 1500 rupees you can get this this thing my secondary tripod for which i am uh, thankful for um, night 47 who has also lent me one of his cameras the hero 3 plus silver is his it's not mine and this tripod he has also lent me a laptop which is somewhere around here this is going to be used for copying the footage now moving on to the snow gear again uh, the ski glass i've shown you this is uh, the waterproof pant the neck warmer you can wear it and it's like a half mask of course the long ski socks this comes just below your knee which is extremely long and for when the temperature drops finally a little bit of hydration pack for me this is my hydration pack it'll go around the waist it has a nice zippered pocket for keeping your little bit of cash or something like that maybe ids maybe not ids because ids might fall off a little bit of cash and the half a liter of hydration which is very handy and useful uh, moving into the luggage which is the last thing on my list and of course i've got these smaller things like i've told you about the anchor power bank maybe or i i don't know if i've forgotten but this is a nice anchor power bank 15600 milliamp hour and uh, in hotels you might not get proper charging points so this is a pin converter charging converter and this is an anchor uh, fast charger which is uh, two high speed charging ports for charging your phone or power bank or everything cameras faster and together last thing on uh, is the luggage we moving into the luggage this is my tail pack which i'll be having in my camera i mean bi bikes back uh, the tail will be protected by this and uh, i can carry water maybe oxygen cylinder if i need them or some other stuff in that like also the small tripod will be in that it's a nice tail pack uh, from Raiden. I, I've used it in my smaller tours. This is the first time this is going to go in a long tour. It also comes with its own rain cover. All of my ja luggage comes with its own rain cover. I'm also having a suitcase, which I'll not show you in th this video. It doesn't uh, relate to uh, biking. And what I'm going to do that is uh, it doesn't have any rain cover because it's a normal suitcase, but that will be in the car. So finally, I'm going to show you my last piece of luggage. This is my Manfrotto advanced tri backpack size medium again don't get confused all the links are down in the description this is nicely padded it's uh, basically waterproof comes with a waterproof um, back cover backpack cover which is very nice and it has a nice pocket for keeping uh, all your electronics and stuff on the top and why i bought this is because this camera this has a very nice hidden pocket on the side this is a padded pocket with a lot of velcro uh, and uh, adjustable areas and this place is where i can put in my entire lumix camera with the mic so i don't have to take the mic off every time i have to pack it so i can quickly pull it out and make the vlog and stuff it back in this is why this is my one of my favorite uh, camera packs manfrotto makes the best camera packs i believe a lot of different designs buy one which suits your purpose if you are serious about photography and i believe with that we can finally conclude it and remember to carry your ids this is the passport i have you have any other photo id apart from the driving license carry that carry a xerox of all your driving licenses uh, for the medicines i'm carrying diamox which is uh, mount for mountain sickness carry portable oxygen cylinders i will leave a link for that as well uh, so that's it that's about it i'm very tired i've been speaking for a long time i hope you enjoyed this video i tried to share as much knowledge as i had I'm obviously still learning. I've, I've not done videos like that. So when I'm coming back, I'm going to give you more of insight for other riders we're using, which was better than mine. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon.
This is Rahul. Goodbye.